Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have something new to show you. Um, I've not even fired it yet. Um, so, I picked this up yesterday, and what I purchased uses the ammo that you see here on the counter. 9mm. Um, and as everybody that's watched my channel for a while knows that I'm a big fan of 45 for concealed carry. So, no, I did not purchase a new gun for concealed carry. Um, although I do have a couple that I'm looking at that I would like to try out. But uh, I'm just going to be a little while after purchasing this. So, yesterday I was at a local gun store. And uh, my original intention was to buy reloading supplies. Um, I was looking for some more powder. And um, I never made it to the powder to the aisle to purchase powders because when I went by the gun counter, I saw something hanging on the wall that I just had to look at. And um, I ended up bringing it home with me. I have never seen this gun in stock at any of my local gun stores. This is the first time I've seen it in stock. And um, I could not leave the store without it. I just had to buy it. Um, if you want to take a guess as to what it is I bought, stop the video, go down below, go down below this video, and uh, make a comment as to what you think I bought. Um, but I'm going to bet no one can guess it. Alright? Everybody ready? Yesterday I was at a gun store, and I found this. CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. Uh, they had one. This was their second shipment of these in, and um, I completely missed the first shipment of them, but... Uh, they got one gun. That's all they got in this shipment. They got one of them. And, um, well, now they have none because I have it. So, that's it. That's my big surprise. Um, I've, I've, seen, I've seen these for a while. I've seen videos of them. I've never actually held one before. Um, there's a lot that I like about this gun. This gun, is, I, I really like this gun. There are some things that I don't like about it. There are some things I'm going to change. Um, this gun, of course, is not in its in the in the style that it was designed for. This was designed as, as, as a SBR. It was designed to be a rifle with a short barrel. Um, I might fill out, I might fill out a, a form one on this and actually do that. Well, uh, that'll remain to be seen. But um, I might actually do that and put it back to its native uh, native form. Of course, it'll still be a semi-auto, but. Uh, that's it, and that is a beauty. As a pistol, this gun really is not um, fan, not that fantastic. It's extremely heavy for a pistol. This thing weighs five pounds. Um, it is mostly polymer. Um, so for the weight, you're looking at that bolt. It's got a really heavy bolt and bolt carrier, um, real heavy metal, and the barrel. Those are mainly the bolt, the uh, metal portions of this gun. There are some metal braces inside here, and of course your trigger mechanisms. Those are all metal. The uh, magazines are polymer. Um, the good thing about these magazines are actually fairly cheap. So, um, I will be getting a few more of those. Um, one thing that I'm going to change immediately is this ambi safety. Um, I know everybody's got their views about ambi safety. This one has a problem. When you have this firearm, and I'll see if I can show you here. When it's on safe, and you, you grip up on the, you choke up on the grip here, you see where your finger's writing? When you put this on, when you put this on fire, that digs right into your, right into your finger, right here in that knuckle. Um, that is uncomfortable. So I've already ordered the, uh, the the button from CZ to actually replace this to just remove it. Uh, they make a little bit round button with that little indicator shows you what you're pointing at, but you can't use it to, as an ambi. Um, there's other companies that make uh, um, different ambi safeties over here to get rid of that problem as well, but. Uh, I'd rather just get rid of the just get rid of that, you know, the ability to use as an ambi. Um, for me, that works just fine. Um, I did intentionally blank out my serial numbers. Those pieces of tape um, actually have the serial numbers of the gun behind it. I really don't care to have that broadcast right now. Uh, hope everybody understands. But um, that's it. So I can get the whole thing in video here. That's what I purchased. Um, anybody's got any comments? Leave your comments below. Um, if anyone guessed what I did buy, congratulations. Um, you win a kudos. How about that? <laughs> and not the candy bar. I think there is a kudos candy bar. Um, CV's, CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. I have, uh, I've seen these for a, for a while now on videos, and I've really I've liked them when I've seen them. I never got a chance to hold one. And um, heavy. That's all I'm going to tell you. This thing is heavy. Um, if you've not held one, 
if you see one in a store, um, pick it up and hold it. Uh, caution, you may end up buying it, but uh, pick it up and hold it. These things are heavy. As a pistol, um, it's almost unwieldy as a pistol. You have to use two hands on it. Um, but uh, this is uh, the uh, charging handle is non-reciprocating, so you don't have to worry about it uh, smacking your hand or anything if you get your thumb up there too much. Um, I don't like my thumb up top. A lot of people like to wrap their hand around the front of the barrel. I don't. I like to hold it flat and just kind of like I'm holding a pistol. You know, my thumb straight. Um, I don't like a, I don't like putting my thumb up over in front of the sights, which is usually where you end up with it. And um, I did move the, uh, I did move the stop here back a little bit. I like it to cradle my hand. Um, I don't want my hand real forward on this because I do hold it like this. If I move that stop too much forward, my thumb is going to get, you know, up by the muzzle there, and I don't want that. So that's it. This has been Muzzle First. If you got any questions, you can uh, leave your comments below. Uh, there is, of course, a, um, you can contact me through um, YouTube if you want, or you can send me an email at muzzlefirst at gmail.com. Uh, visit my website, www.muzzlefirst.com, and uh, I'll put links right here to my last two videos. Um, if you can uh, share this video, like this video, subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, and you have a good day.